on today's random spot. This is a really small one, guys. We're having a look at the Atari candies. Very nice. I never had a Atari. It was one of those things I lived vicariously through my friends. And my friends actually had the Atari. I usually would go over to their place and play it. Um, yeah, so the uh, candy itself, like I said, is, uh, well, it's fruit flavored. Got Atari logo down below. And like I said, as mentioned before, it's, uh, it's designed like the classic joystick, which is very, very cool. It's a hard metal, it's metal all the way around. The only place where it isn't metal is on the actual joystick. As you can see, it's rubbery. Um, it, I guess they've done it so that some poor child isn't going to poke himself in the eye. Because, you know, there's children that do that. Um, but uh, I, I like that it's rubbery because you can kind of pretend it's a real joystick that it actually moves. When, in fact, it doesn't. But you can pretend. That's what imagination is for. Bring ourselves old red into the equation. And we'll get this opened up. Trying ever so ever so gently not to cut the container. Oh. You know, I've done that before. Oh great. It's that plastic. There we go. I was gonna say it's that plastic that doesn't come off. It just kind of keeps breaking on you. You know the plastic I'm talking about. Let me also say a pet peeve of mine is plastic sandwich wrap packing peanuts that you can't get off your finger you know does anyone know what I'm talking about you know when you get stuff shipped to you and you try to get it off your finger okay I've got it now plastic isn't gonna bother anybody ever again um, it has the button being that's metal it's not gonna do anything but uh, very cool once again, something very nice to put on display. Maybe put it by your desk. If you're an Atari fan, you can put this by your desk. Look at it all the time. Dream about the days gone by. Oh, and under inside, looks like chiclets. Got ourselves little square candies. Now, based on this, I would almost expect them to be mint. But, uh, I don't know, the package under, underneath does say fruit flavor. So let's give one a try. Oh, try, <laughs> try not to drop it. Let's give one of these a try, and uh, I'll let you know what these taste like. Yeah, it's kind of like a strawberry mint. Uh, I don't know. That's the universal gesture for not very good. Nice container. I don't know, I'm not really a fan of the candies inside. It's very drabby. It's kind of, again, it's like strawberry mint. Maybe if I was in the right frame of mind, maybe if I was actually going into this review, thinking to myself, you know what? I haven't had a strawberry mint something in a long time, I probably would have been pleasantly surprised. I didn't go in with that kind of expectation. It's just all right. But at least you get yourself a little cool controller. You know, you can play some of the classic style Atari games. Very neat nonetheless. Something you'd want to pick up for any Atari fan, or if you are an Atari fan yourself, do go out of your way. Do look for and pick up the Atari candies. For no other reason than the fact that it looks like a classic joystick. Today's random spot, we were looking at the Atari candies. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to stick around for many more reviews on the way, and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.